Now to the news in campaign 2016 and forget the presidential race, one of the hottest races, if you consider the TV ads, is in Congress. Republican Congressman Mike Kaufman up against Democrat Morgan Carroll. Our political specialist Sean Boyd looks into the ads in this latest reality check. Incumbent Congressman Mike Kaufman goes bare knuckles in his first attack ad this election, framing his Democratic challenger, Morgan Carroll, as a sleazy attorney and shady politician. Morgan Carroll, the lawyer, has worked for some of the sleaziest firms in the state, and they love frivolous lawsuits. That's opinion, and Kaufman provided no evidence to support it. For the record, Carroll has worked for two of the biggest personal injury firms in the state, Mike Sawaya and Bacchus and Shanker. Now to the shady politician, claim. It has to do with Carroll's time in the state legislature. So Morgan Carroll, the state senator, voted for exactly that, making it easier to sue doctors, small businesses, even nurses, putting her own shady interests first. That's misleading. In committee, Carroll did vote against a bill that would give doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals immunity when they volunteer for nonprofits. He and the Colorado Trial Lawyers Association argued the bill provided blanket immunity. The bill was amended on the floor to remove immunity in cases of gross negligence. With the amendment, Carol voted for it. So yes, she voted to make it easier to sue doctors and nurses in cases of gross negligence. She did not vote to make it easier to sue small businesses, but she did sponsor a bill that increases the amount of damages a worker can recover when businesses are found guilty of discrimination. Unlike federal law, it applies to businesses of all sizes. Kaufman suggests the two bills represented a conflict of interest for Carol. But here's what you need to know. Legislative rules prohibit lawmakers from voting on bills that they personally profit from. These bills, yes, benefited trial attorneys, but all trial attorneys, not just Morgan Carroll. So they were not, according to legislative legal services, conflicts. The same, by the way, applies to farmers voting for agriculture bills, teachers for education bills, employers for business bills, etc. It happens all the time in a citizen legislature. Bottom line, if you're going to call someone sleazy and shady, you should have strong evidence to back it up. Kaufman doesn't. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check.